Hi, this is Akalia of Deep Roots Strong Dance, and this is Core Strengthening for Belly Dancers. However, you don't need to be a belly dancer to learn, <laughs> this is Mortimer, to gain the benefits of this core workout. And you can use this as part of your dance warm-up, you can just use part of it or the whole thing, or even just in between your dance practices to strengthen your core. So what is your core and why should we care about it? Your core includes back, side, pelvic, and buttock muscles. It forms a sturdy central link between your upper and lower body. Clearly, every person can benefit from a stronger core. And belly dancers in particular are using exactly this part of the body for belly dance movement all the time. Having a strong core is a crucial part of a safe and strong belly dance practice. Core strengthening prevents injuries to the back and I've personally experienced back pain relief from core exercises. A strong core helps to stabilize the body, which takes stress off the back, knees, and hips. Core strengthening develops the muscles required for controlled, detailed belly dance movement, such as sinuous texture, pops, and locks. Start with a yoga mat, and if you have an exercise ball, off to the side. I'll briefly explain the floor exercises here and then they'll be followed by doing them in sequence and our standing exercises. For plank, our wrists are underneath our shoulders or slightly in front of them and a soft bend in our elbows. Outstretch the legs creating a long line from the shoulders to the heels. Crossing the left knee to the opposite right elbow and flexing it as we bring that leg up. We'll do this several times on one side and then we'll switch sides. You can modify any of the plank exercises in this workout video by using your forearms as support instead of your hands. Next exercise, we are on our backs and we don't want the low back to pop up off the floor. Anchoring the low back into the floor, we're gonna raise the legs up and lowering them only as much as feels comfortable for a low back. We're gonna lower it, bend the knees, scoop it in, extend, lower, bend the knees, scoop it in, extend. Next exercise. Same thing with keeping the low back pressed into the floor. Knees are bent, knees above hips, gaze is straight up to the ceiling, neck stays long and lifted, so an imaginary ball between the chin and the chest, long and lengthened, and we're going to bring the chest up for one, and down, and the legs down, and up. Chest up, and down, legs down, and up. Next exercise. In a strong plank, either on the wrists or on the forearms, we're going to step out with one foot for one, bring it in, two, bring it in. We're going to do this several times on one side and then switch to the other side. Next exercise. Leaning back in a seated position, spine is lengthened. If you want, you can use your hands as support underneath your legs. Or if you want to increase core activity, simply remove the hands from the legs. Bringing your feet off the ground, we're going to alternate side to side facing the leg that's coming up towards the body. If your arms are removed from your legs, you can imagine holding a grapefruit as you alternate from side to side to increase the challenge. Last exercise. This one is intense and optional. If you have an exercise ball, bring yourself into a strong plank and we're rolling the knees towards the arms keeping the legs on the exercise ball as we unfurl. If you extend the body out slowly, you can really feel it in your core. In a strong plank position on your hands or on your forearms, we're gonna start with the cross leg plank. Here we go, starting on the left. Cross it over, flex the butt up. Cross it over, and up. Three, four, five, try to get to ten, six, 
seven, here we go. Eight, nine, let's try to get to 12. Here's 10, here we go for 11. Let's try for 15, 12, 13, 14. If you need the extra challenge, we'll go for 20. Here we go. And 16, keep it going. 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent. Switching legs. If you didn't make it all the way to 20, each time just stretch higher and higher going for 10, then 12, 15, and then for 20. Here we go on the next leg. Crossing it over. One, two, three, four, five, flex it up. Six, seven, here we go. Eight, two more, nine, 10, unless you're going for 12 or more, here we go for 11, 12, stretch it for 15, 13, 14, one more, 15, unless you're going for 20, then 16, here we go, 17, you've got this, 18, 19, 20, excellent. Coming onto our backs for the leg lower and scoop. Extending the legs into the air, lowering the legs, scoop and bend in, extend, and for two. Extend, lower for three, bend, extend, lower for four, Bend, extend, nice and controlled for five. Bend, extend, six. Bend, extend, seven. Bend, extend, eight. Bend, extend, nine. And bend, extend, 10. Let's try for 12. And bend, extend, 11. Bend, extend. Let's try for 15. 12. Bend, extend, 13. Bend, extend, 14. Bend, extend, 15, push it for 20 if you can, bend, extend, 16, bend, extend, 17, bend, extend, 18, bend, extend, 19, bend, extend, last one, 20, Bend, extend. Next exercise, legs are bent, chest comes up and down, legs down and up. Chest up and down, legs down and up. Chest up and down, legs and up. Chest up and down, legs down 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 and up. One, two, down, up. Up, down, down, up. Chest, two, legs, two. 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 Chest, two, 
legs two, chest two, legs two, chest two, legs two. Coming into a plank either on your forearms or your wrists, we're tapping the left foot out and then bringing it into center. Tap one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and add a push up for the last two and switch legs. Right and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Two push-ups if you can. One and bring it to twelve. Last exercise. Isometric boat in a seated position. Leaning back. Hands are either under the legs or floating freely. Raising the feet and alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Last exercise. This one's optional. You can grab your exercise ball, or if you don't have one, feel free to do twenty reps of one of the exercises we just did. Pick your favorite one, and we can do it together. In a plank off of your exercise ball, stabilizing with soft elbows, bring it in for one, in for two, reach it out, three, lengthen, four, lengthen, five, lengthen, six, lengthen, seven, lengthen, eight, nine, 10, try for 12, 11, 12, try for 15, 13, almost there, 14, last one, 15, unless we're going for 20, for 16, 17, 18, 19, we're almost there, and 20. Excellent. And now for the standing series. With your feet about hip width apart, a soft bend in your knees, inhale, raise the left knee up. If that's enough of a challenge for you, just focus on keeping that there. Otherwise, place the foot above or below the knee. We're going to hold here for a few breaths. Coming out of it, slow and controlled, we're going to root into the other foot and now raising the other knee, aiming for symmetry on this side. Soft bend in the supporting knee and holding for a few breaths. out of it slow and controlled we're going to reposition same thing inhaling the other knee up this time and folding forward proportionate to how we're kicking that leg back flexing that back leg and if you can only lean forward a little bit that's fine just go until you feel a challenge happening for you And coming out of it, and we're going to place the foot down, switching legs, soft bend in the supporting leg at all times.
and coming out of it slow and controlled. And standing up, inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding at the hips with a generous bend in the knees if you'd like it. And just let everything hang to the floor. Just relax everything. You want to wiggle the head side to side in a no motion. Forward in a yes motion and just releasing. As you inhale, feeling your ribs expand. And as you exhale, just feeling all the meat hanging to the floor all the meat of your body, just releasing and relaxing after all that hard work, strengthening that body that does so much for you, day to day and in your dance practice. Inhale up with a flat back, raise the arms and exhale down. Coming down to the floor, going to stretch out one leg, reaching for that leg, and inhale the arm up, and bring it across and over, and we're going to keep the chest lifted so that we're not folding it down. That'll allow us to really stretch out those side muscles. And folding it forward, reaching, stretching through the back, walking the hands up, and alternating legs. Again, reaching for that foot. Inhale the arm up, keeping the chest lifted. And folding it forward, reaching, stretching through the back. And that completes our core workout for today. Here you can find a listing of all the exercises we went over today. Thank you so much for joining me and take care.